So now we're going to solve situational problems involving related rates. So number one, starting from, from some point, Redden started walking eastward at 60 cm per second, while Nail starts running towards the south at 80 km. 80 cm per second. How fast is the distance between Rudin and Nail? Nail is increasing after 3 seconds. So what we're going to do first is first you need to understand the problem. Second is you're going to draw the problem. Draw a diagram. So first one. So Rudin starts walking eastward. So from one point, see Rudin. This is Rudin started walking eastward at 60 km centimeter per second. So while Neil or Neil starts running towards the south, this is going south at 80 cm per second. This is for for Neil. How fast is the distance between Rudin and Neil? So what we're looking for is the distance between the two of them. So this is the distance. If this is Neil and this is Redden, so this is the distance between them. So next is we're going to to look for to represent each given by or each quantity by a variable. So let this be x, let this be y, let this be z. Ito yung mga kailangan natin isolve kailangan natin sa formula. So, x, y, and z. The distance by Redden, the distance traveled by nail, and the distance between nail and Redden. Letter B, what we're going to do is we're going to, to get to given. The given, the first given is started walk, walking eastward at 60 cm per second. So, ang unang given is ganito, 60 cm per second. Kapag ang ang given is rate, ang gagawin mo is ganito. This is for red, red then. So, the red then is 60 cm per second. But this is not the x. So, ang gagawin yan, but dahil rate yan siya, it's dx over dt. So, that's 60. Letter B, ang speed ni nail is 80. So, speed ni nail is 80. So, because si nail is y, so dy over dt is equal to 80. Next, given is the time is 3 seconds. So, 3 seconds, the time. That's the first given. And what we're looking for is how fast is the distance between Rudin and nail increasing. So, ang rate ng distance ni Rudin at saka ni nail. So, we're looking for dz over dt, the, the rate of the changes in the distance. So it's question mark. Next, if this is one, if this one is increasing, it's positive. Pero kapag lumiliit siya, it's negative. Example na ba, kung papunta siya doon, instead ng papunta siya dito, papunta siya doon. So ibig sabihin, this distance is lumiliit. So this will be negative. However, but, but because it is increasing, so it will become positive. Letter C, ang gagawin natin letter C, is you're going to have the formula already. So the formula, because this is right triangle, so the formula that we're going to use is Pythagorean theorem. So the length, the, the square of this plus the square of this is equal to the square of the hypotenuse or Z. So X square plus Y square is equal to z square. So next, what, next thing we're going to do is we're going to find the derivative. So the derivative nito is 2x dx over dy dt rather dt plus ito naman it's 2y dy over dt and this one is 2z dz over dt. So, again mo lang d if the variable is y, so dy over dt. Kapag x, dx over dt. Kung z, dz over dt. Letter d, we have now the derivative. Letter d, we need to find the given example. Dito, this one x, ang x natin, given bang x, 
Now, wala yung binigay na x dito, yung distance na travel ni Rodin. So, what we're going to do is kailangan natin itong hanapin. Kasi, di ba, um, according to our letter B, ang, ang dapat, ang unknown lang is si dz over dt. Ibig sabihin, kailangan natin alam ito. Alam natin dapat ito. Alam natin to Alam natin to Alam natin to And we only know dz over dt, which is 60. dy over dt, which is 80. So, we need to know z, y, and x. So, how to know that one? So, we know that distance is rate times time. For Reden, this is for Reden. So, ang distance ni Reden is rate. Ang rate ni Reden is 60. Tapos, ang time is 3. So, distance is 180. So, this is for x. For, for nail, it's which is y so distance is rate times time distance is the rate of nail is 80 and the time is 3 seconds so that's 240 and this is for y so we're going to use this z in or this formula in order for us to know z so x is 180 so 180 squared plus y squared 240 squared is equal to z squared. So, square root, square root para makancel, z na lang. So, to solve, we need calculator. So, 180 square plus 240 square. Square root of that is 300. So, z is equal to 300. So, we know already Alam na natin to, alam natin to, alam na natin to. So we could substitute already. So for letter E, we're going to substitute from this. We're going to use this as our formula. So 2 times x, which is 180 dx over dt, that's 60, plus 2y, which is 240 dy over dt is 80 2 ang z natin is 300 tapos copy dz over dt yan ang inahatap natin so multiply 2 times 180 times 60 21,600 plus 2 240 80 that's 60,000. 2 times 300, that's 600. DZ over DT. Divide both sides by 600. 600. So, cancel. DZ over DT is equal to 100. So, to check... Yes, 100. Ibig sabihin yan. Therefore, the rate or of the increase of the distance between Redden and Nail is 100 cm per second so that's the rate of the increase in the distance between Redden and nail so that's for number one we'll proceed with number two which is quite complicated and i hope my answer is correct a woman standing on a cliff is watching a motor boat through a telescope as the boat approaches the shoreline directly below her if the telescope is 25 meters above the water level and if that boat is approaching the cliff at 20 meters per second, at what rate is the acute angle made by the telescope with the vertical changing when the boat is 250 meters from the shore? So the first one is understand the problem. So ang unang natin gagawin is according to the problem, there's a woman now standing on a cliff. So this is the woman standing on the cliff and then there's a water. 
Tapos, tinitingnan niya yung boat approaching sa kanya. Tapos, ang height, if this is a telescope, ang height daw ni telescope is 25 meters from the above the water level. And if the boat is approaching at the cliff at 20 meter per second, so this is y. At what rate is the acute angle made by the telescope with the vertical angle with the boat is 250 meters from the shore? So, ang hinahanap daw is how, what rate is the acute angle. So, ang acute angle, kailangan natin malam. Because the telescope and the vertical distance. So, this is theta. This is the vertical distance and that's, that is theta. Gaano daw kabilis ang change nito ang pagliit. So, it should be negative kasi lumiliit siya. Kasi habang papapalapit siya, so lumiliit yung angle. And the rate here is negative kasi ang distance nito si y, itong si both is papunta doon. So, ibig sabihin, lumiliit yung distance. Letter B is we're going to look for the given. The first given is yung 25 meters. So, you may put x, but it's better that you're going to use 25 meter because this is constant. Hindi siya nagbabago. It's always 25 meters. So, that's the first given, 25 meters. The next given is the rate of y. Kasi, it's a, if the boat is approaching the cliff at 20 meter per second. So, dy over dt is 20 meter per second and because it is getting smaller it's negative the next one is y is equal to distance daw is 250 meters tapos ang hinahanap natin is the rate of change of theta letter c we need a formula so this is a right angle a right triangle rather so if this is theta and this would be the opposite side, the adjacent side and the hypotenuse or the hypotenuse. So, because this, ang given is O at saka A, so ka towa, so ka towa. So, yung O at saka A is yung tangent. So, it's tangent theta is equal to O over A. So, tangent theta is equal to O is Y. And A is 25. The adjacent is 25 and the opposite is Y. Next is, we're going to find the derivative. The derivative of second theta is second, or tangent theta is second squared theta, d theta over dt. So the variable is theta, so d theta over dt is equal to the derivative of Y, or copy 1 over 25 first, Tapos ang derivative ni y is 1. So, you may not write y or 1 pala. Just simply write dy over dt. So, this is the formula now. Letter d, kailangan natin malaman lahat, values lahat ng variables. So, ang first ang theta, hindi natin alam. Alam na natin yung dy over dt. It's negative 20. Tapos ito, hindi natin alam kasi yan siya si unknown. So, ang hanapin na lang natin is theta. So, theta, so, use this formula, tan theta is equal to opposite over adjacent side. So, tan theta is equal to, we know that the opposite is y. So, y over 25. So, tan theta, y is 250 over 25. So, para makuha natin yan, we're going to yes, use our tan or tan to the negative 1, 250 over 25. So, tan to the negative 1, 20, 250 divided 25 is 10. So, 84, theta is 84.2894. So, we know theta already. So we know this, we know this. So we could solve for letter E for the rate. So for E, so second, sec, second rather, second theta which is 84.2894 
times d theta over dt that's unknown is equal to 1 over 25 dy over dt is negative 20 so we know in the calculator that we don't have this one second second so what we're going to do is d the reciprocal so the reciprocal is secant is cosine so 1 over cosine squared 84.2894 d theta over dt is equal to negative 20 over 25 so you could divide both sides by this one or simply multiply mo lang ito para makancel so multiply mo rin dito ng cosine squared 84.2894 bakit multiply para makancel matira na lang is d theta over dt which is equal to negative cosine na lang muna cosine 84.2894 squared squared times negative 20 divided by 25 so that's negative 0 0.0079 so that's d theta over dt. So to show you again, how did I solve that in the calculator? It's cosine, I type in 84.2894 squared, so I squared siya, times negative 20 divided by 25. So negative 0 0.0079. I hope our answer is correct. Ibig sabihin yan, that's the rate of the change of theta. So, it's, it's meter per second. So, the rate is degrees rather. So, ito yung pagliit ng degrees per second. So, it changes by 0 0.0079 degrees per second. It's the rate of change of the acute angle made by the telescope with the vertical line as the boat approaches by 250 meters from the shore.